a lot of the times when we're trying to edit our footage, we find it that it plays really slowly on whatever editing program that we're using. The way to solve this is to actually use proxies for your editing. So proxies basically are a representation of your original footage into smaller size footage so that your editing program can handle them. This is how you do it. First thing you wanna do is jump on into Adobe Media Encoder. As soon as you're there, just come to where it says Preset Browser and then click Create Encoding Preset and then just rename the preset to Proxy Preset. Come to where it says Format and click on H.264. H.264 basically is the best codec that you can use for whatever program uh, that you're working on that'll help you edit a bit faster. And then when that's done, come down to where it says video over here. There's also audio settings and other stuff, but the video one is the more important one. Just click on match source so that everything, the width, the height is based on whatever footage that you're encoding. The thing that helps you with this is that it'll make sure that the resolution of whatever format that you're working on will remain the same as the source footage that's very important for editing come to where it says encoding settings make sure it's, it's on hardware encoding and then the bit rate is quite important set it to 10 10 tends to be a good bit rate to use because the footage is not too big and usually it's around the same size files that the internet uses on YouTube and any other and when that's done click OK that's because your preset is done. And then the next thing you want to do, come over here to where it says watch folder and then click on the plus and then add the folder that you want to basically encode. So as soon as you put that folder onto here, Adobe Media Encoder will be able to detect it whenever there's footage inside that folder. So the cool thing about it is that you can set a separate folder where you dump all your footage. And then what you want to do is click on auto encode watch folders and as soon as the footage comes onto the Adobe Media Encoder will encode it automatically without you having to do anything and then it'll convert it to a usable format that you can use on your computer. Now let's just wait for that to finish. Before you continue watching the video I just want to tell you quickly about an online awesome platform that you can join today called the Sony Alpha Universe. So this is an online platform where you can learn about all kinds of stuff involving filmmaking, especially for all the creators that love to use YouTube. This is the perfect place for you because you'll be able to learn about workshops and tutorials on how to create all kinds of styles of filmmaking, whether it be from lighting to editing to grading, we all share it there each and every single week for you guys. So join the Sony Alpha Universe today and you'll be able to enjoy all of these tutorials and endless workshops for free, for completely free, there's no charge. And you get weekly updates on what's happening on the Sony Alpha Universe. And you'll be able to catch up with each and every single thing that we get up to. So if you are a filmmaker or know any filmmaker, please advise them to join the Sony Alpha Universe as well. And they'll be able to join this amazing platform where all of us as creators create all these beautiful workshops for you guys to enjoy for completely free. Yeah, so join now, click the link below. Back to the video. Yeah, as soon as the encode is done, just come over to source and then import all that footage. So what I usually do is I just search MP4 and then yeah, just like that you import it. And then what you want to do next is select all your footage and then right click on it. Click on attach proxies, it'll pop up this window and then just click on attach. Come to where it says output, click on 16, and click OK. And as soon as that's done, that means your proxies are now attached to your actual source footage and then perfect then what you can do is let's say you create a timeline with the clip there's a button here called toggle proxies so if it doesn't appear just click on the plus sign and then you'll be able to find it here so it looks like this it's called toggle proxies so you click on toggle proxies and then as soon as you click on it this icon here will turn blue as soon as it's turned blue, that's when you know that your proxies are on. So, and then as you go to the footage, you'll notice even if it's at full resolution, the footage will be able to play back without any hindrances and scratching and stuff. Just like that, that's how you'll be able to create proxies. This will help you quite a lot when it comes to editing any kind of project. I would advise that you do this step before you work on any project that you guys are working on. It'll help you a lot in handling the footage, especially if it's some format that's bigger than what you can handle, especially like 4K, like high res 4K and stuff like that. Thanks for watching, I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.